And finally, we're going to look at the conclusion and evaluation. So if you pause the video, if you want to take a peek up here, this is what the IB provides. States a conclusion with justification based on a reasonable interpretation of the data. Uh, and then listen to the partial points. This is for one point here. States a conclusion based on the reasonable interpretation of the data. It sounds very similar with the exception of uh, one word here, with justification. Um, Again, very, very gray, so I'm going to try to clarify this a little bit here. Uh, also, we have evaluates the weaknesses and limitations and suggests realistic improvements in respect of identified weaknesses and limitations. So these two parts kind of go together. That's the big piece of uh, the evaluation. That's the conclusion. So again, flipping back and forth here to some of our examples. Take a look. This is the template so data table after that now we're here to the conclusion the conclusion is just going to be a big chunk of uh, information here um, citations are important at our school we're using MLA is that right MLA format that's right other schools may be using APA but uh, be careful about that when using citations with research and at the end you should always include a full references section anyways and notice here for the evaluation how I have things split up into a table. I, I recommend using this method here because it ensures that whatever limitation you write here, you will make sure to suggest a specific improvement for that particular limitation. If you write this as two separate uh, paragraphs, if you're very good at outlining essays, then you may be fine, but it'll, it'll just be a lot more easy if you use this format to make sure you're not missing, forgetting uh, to suggest an improvement for a particular limitation or you suggest an awesome improvement but you haven't even explained uh, what that improvement is for so I highly recommend doing something like this and aiming for uh, four strong limitations to talk about so again here's a, a, a sample no, sorry it's really small here but uh, let's take a look okay there's a conclusion, are there some citations in here? Maybe, maybe not. Um, the evaluation here is done with this same formatting that was recommended, and then a reference section at the end. Okay, so go ahead, if you thought it was moving too fast, you can go ahead and pause, take a look. Um, back to some of the points for you to write down. Let's see. Uh, make sure in your conclusions, of course, that they are the explanations are biologically related. You're doing a biology lab report, so make sure you're trying to explain in sufficient uh, biological detail using additional research as necessary. Uh, make sure you're not missing any citations and use the correct formatting that you should be learning. Reference back to the hypothesis, was it supported or refuted? You can also talk about your statistical um, test hypotheses as well, the null hypothesis, but you could also include that directly following the data collection stuff as well too. So any other main points here? Um, this is all kind of reference up here. Why does this tell this thing to go away? Refer back to hypothesis, accurate biology, cite things properly, discuss the values carefully and the statistics as well, and my cool little acronym for this is BRUSH, which sounds like brush, like a toothbrush. So if you remember from before, <gasps> Look at this. T U U S. That's like tooth, tooth. And this one is brush, tooth brush. So, how to get the top marks in the first part of the data collection and how to get the top marks in your conclusion as well. Biology, references, the correct values, uh, statistics, and reference to your hypothesis. All right, we get to the last part. These two sections combined make the evaluation and remember to use this table format limitations and suggestions for improvement this is probably one of the hardest places to gain full marks actually this whole last thing right here conclusion evaluation the rest of these as mentioned before this is pretty easy to get full marks this is pretty easy to get full marks pretty easy to get full marks and this is pretty this this should all be pretty easy to get full marks as well too if you um, collected enough data, if you've used that variables table that I mentioned, if you make sure your aim is clear and you everything should be all right, uh, the conclusion evaluation is honestly the most tricky part. So let me see what I can do to help you here. 
Um, the title here is Weaknesses and Limitations. So we're talking about limitations and weaknesses in primarily the design or the planning of your experiment. So what could you write down as a limitation? Well, you could write down how you had trouble controlling a particular variable. You could write down how to control an additional variable that you forgot or failed to recognize in the beginning. Those are two things you can look at. What about collecting more data? So that's part of your plan. You only plan to collect this much. You should have collected this much. Explain why. How about the ranges of data, the range of data that you collected. You should have expanded the range or maybe the range was too expansive and you didn't need to collect that much information. A common thing that people, students tend to write about here, which you should totally avoid, is uh, too much emphasis on human errors. If you had a problem measuring something, was it because there was a better tool that you could have used? And don't just make up a better tool. Actually find out what's a better tool for measuring light intensity or whatever it is you were looking at. And don't just say, I should be more careful next time with my measurements. Please, please do whatever you can to avoid that. Anything else here? Criticize the method. That's the design of your experiment. Don't blame yourself. Uh, not enough trials should always be recommended. That just increases the reliability, accuracy, and precision of your data. So that should be mentioned as one. Discuss your statistics. Standard deviation. If your data was all over the place, if your repeat trials show a very wide standard deviation, then that suggests that something about the way that you're conducting your experiment is not very uh, accurate. Um, or you're not very, being very precise with your tools. So how can you improve that? Um, no experiment is perfect, so please don't hand in a lab saying there were no suggestions for improvement, no problems in the experiment. That's just silly. Suggest at least three main weaknesses. I would aim for five, because you're looking for at least three really strong ones. What variables were impossible to control? Talk about that as well too. Surely there is a way to control some, most of these impossible variables, so suggest them. On the right here, really is simple. For each one of these things that you mentioned, you need a real suggestion. A real suggestion. And uh, you can read right here, realistic improvements in respect of identified weaknesses and limitations. If you only want one point, you will give very superficial improvements. And if you want zero points, then just make up stuff. Suggestions for each of the weaknesses you've identified, how you can change the method uh, or the technique or the apparatus that's actually being used. Um, that could be important as well too. What else? Would a larger data range be more appropriate? Okay, we've discussed that already. These things right here. Be detailed, specific. If you're naming new kinds of instruments, make sure they're actual real things. Don't say in the future, I hope they invent something like this. Um, give an example of further tests or testing a different variable as well. Uh, try to avoid saying, I'm going to be more careful next time, or I'm going to be more precise, or I'm going to watch the time more carefully, or I'm going to make sure my partners are paying attention, I'm going to make sure they're not eating in the lab, stuff like that. Those are amateur, amateur mistakes. We are professionals. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any questions, uh, that's the end of three videos. If you have any questions, post them as a response to this, or just let me know that you have no questions. Alrighty.